Hello YouTubers, Brian here with the Hobby Farm Guys and in today's spotlight video we'll highlight an old breed of cattle from the rugged hills of Scotland, the Highland, right after the intro, which is a good time to click that like button so you don't forget. For centuries, the Highland breed of cattle has roamed the remote, rugged Scottish Highlands. The breed likely descended from longhorn cattle brought to Britain in the second millennium BC. Yeah, that's 2000 BC, so 4000 years ago. After thousands of years of evolution in the Scottish Highlands, two subgroups of Highland cattle existed. The smaller, more frequently black or brindled cattle were raised on the western island and were known as kylos and the larger red animals were on the Scottish mainland. The size difference was probably due more to the severe climate and limited rations the island cattle were subjected to than any genetic variation. Today, all members of the breed are called highland and may be found in colors of black, yellow, red, brindle, silver, or dun. The extremely harsh conditions of the Scottish Highlands created a process of natural selection where only the fittest and most adaptable animals survived to carry on the breed. Highland cattle are the oldest registered breed of cattle in the world with a herd book being published back in 1885. The Scottish Highland Cattle Society was formed in 1884. The first recorded importation into the United States occurred in the late 1890s though they were probably brought across earlier by immigrants. The American Highland Cattle Association Registry was first formed in 1948. Immediately recognizable by their long woolly coats and long horns, Highland cattle look the part of a rugged, hardy breed. Highland cattle sport a double coat of hair, an oily outer hair to shed and repel snow and rain, and a downy undercoat for warmth and protection underneath. The woolly outer coat is the longest hair of any cattle breed, and it will get shorter in the summer or if the cattle are raised in a more southern or warmer climate. About 60% of Highland cattle today sport a coat of reddish brown, with yellowish coming in next to 22%. The remaining 18% is made up of the black, silver, brindle, or dun varieties. The large horns are used primarily for knocking down brush to graze on, predator control, and scratching. Horns on females are generally unswept and finer textured than the horns on males. Male horns are more forward pointing and massive. Highland cows will average 900 to 1200 pounds when mature, and bulls will average from 1500 to 2000 pounds. Highlands mature between six and seven years old, and they usually will not add more weight or size after that time, but their horns will continue growing until they die. They're a multi-purpose animal, producing meat, milk, and fiber. The fiber can be spun and is used by spinners in producing garments. Highland milk is high in butter fat. It can be used like oxen or for clearing land of unwanted brush. They require little in the way of shelter, feed supplements, or expensive grains to achieve and maintain good condition and fitness. In fact, Highland cattle seem to enjoy conditions in which many other breeds would perish. Cold weather and snow have little effect on them. It has been said that the Highland will eat what other cattle pass by. On top of that, Highlands tend to be docile and calm. They don't stress easily, and they're easy to work with despite their long horns. They can also be halter trained. Sexual maturity is reached in about 18 months. Highland females can see quickly, calve easily, and breed back readily on native forage. Bulls are aggressive and durable breeders. Mating occurs throughout the year with a gestation period of approximately 277 to 290 days. Most commonly a single calf is born, but twins are not unknown. Highland cows are noted for being highly devoted and protective mothers. They produce rich milk, allowing for steady weight gain in the calf. Calves are small at birth, 40 to 60 pounds, so birthing assists are rare. Calves grow quickly on the rich milk, and cows may produce offspring into their late teens, reducing the need for frequent herd replacements. Highland cattle also have a longer expected lifespan than most other breeds, up to 20 years. Having such long hair also means they don't need to store the waste fat you find in other breeds of cattle. This produces a lean, tender, 
well-marbled and flavorful meat that is lower in fat and cholesterol than other beef breeds. So low, in fact, that it compares with chicken and fish for fat content, and when raised on grass, is actually lower in cholesterol than chicken. Yet it remains higher in protein and iron than other beef breeds. The British royal family maintains a fold of Highland cattle at Balmoral Castle and considers them their beef animal of choice. So to eat a Highland steak is to eat like royalty. Finally, a little known fact about Highland cattle. Unlike other cows who belong to a herd, breeders of Highland cattle don't call their herd a herd. A group of Highland cattle is called a fold because historically in winter, the cattle were brought together at night in open shelters made of stone called folds to protect them from the weather and the wolves. So that's the Highland, a rugged, woolly cattle breed from the Highlands of Scotland that can produce healthy meat, rich milk, usable fiber, and labor, all while thriving on pasture other cows would struggle with. A breed growing ever more popular with hobby farms. Are they right for you? Let us know what you think about the Highland or any other cattle on the hobby farm in general by leaving a comment below. And also remember to like that video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy hobby farming.